Son Goku from Dragon Ball Super versus Alien X from Ben 10. Now, if these two were to fight, who would win? In this video, I'll go over both characters' strength slash attack potency, their speed scaling, and their more notable hacks and abilities in their arsenal. So enough talking, let's just get into the scaling, starting off with Goku. Alright, so Goku and Beerus' clash threatened to destroy the entirety of the Universe 7 macrocosm, with their shockwaves even reaching the Kaioshin Realm. The Kaioshin Realm is a part of the afterlife, as you guys can see from the symbolic model, with the kanji used to describe the afterlife in Daisenshu 4 being Chojigen, which basically means transcendence to or over dimensionality. By definition, this would scale the afterlife to outer versal. Now, Goku would obviously scale to the afterlife since he affected the Kaioshin Realm, which is a part of the afterlife. Now, with Goku's attack potency covered, let's move on to speed. As for speed, Goku, even during the Buu Saga in base form alone, was capable of traversing the entire afterlife. And in the Dragon Ball Super Exciting Guide, the afterlife is stated to have no concept of time. So Goku traversing the afterlife would give him a relevant speed, and with attack potency and speed covered, let's move on to abilities and hacks. Now for some of Goku's more notable hacks and abilities, Goku is capable of using the Hakai which is a technique that allows the user to erase the target from existence. Goku can also seal his enemies via the Mafuba. He can also heal his injuries in combat. Finally, for the notable hacks, Goku has soul, mind, and conceptual manipulation since Ki is spiritual, mental, and conceptual. So in conclusion, Goku would scale to outer versal with relevant speed, with his notable hacks being soul, mind, conceptual manipulation, existence erasure, sealing, and healing. And with Goku covered, let's move on to Alien X's scaling. It's stated by Serena, who's one of the voices of Alien X, that Celestial Sapiens are one of the most powerful beings in the Ben 10 universe. This would scale Alien X above the Contamelia, who are 5th dimensional beings. So for the low end of things, Alien X would be at least 5th dimensional. Now, to keep the 5D scaling consistent with Alien X, just a fraction of Celestial Sapien DNA is capable of piercing a barrier that's stated by the Contamelia to be extra-dimensional and impossible to breach. This would make the barrier 5 to 60 because it's stated by the Contamelia that the barrier is impossible to breach, and the Contamelia, as I've already covered, are 5th dimensional beings. And just a fraction of Alien X's DNA is capable of piercing through the barrier, which would make Alien X himself 5 to 60. Now, for the low end, Alien X would be around 5 to 60, which is where he should consistently scale to. Now, for the higher end scaling. Now, I'm pretty sure we all know this feat of Alien X recreating the entirety of the Ben 10 universe, which would include the 26 dimensions that are in the Ben 10 cosmology. This would scale Alien X all the way up to Hyperversal. With Alien X's attack potency covered, let's move on to his speed. Now, as for speed, Alien X by default would have a measurable speed, just due to the fact that Alien X is bare minimum 5D, and you need to be 5D or higher to have a measurable speed. Now, with Alien X's attack potency and speed covered, let's move on to his notable hacks. Alien X has access to time manipulation, as he's able to rewind time, as you guys can see here. Alien X is also capable of creating clones of himself, as you guys can see. He also has space-time manipulation, as Serena stated that Alien X can change the very nature of space and time. Alien X is also capable of creating black holes, also capable of warping reality. Finally, for notable hacks and abilities, we have Existence Erasure. As Kevin stated, the Celestial Sapiens could blink and they'd be gone. It takes a lot to get their attention, and that's fine. We don't want it. Why not? They could just blink and we'd be gone. So in conclusion, Alien X would scale to 5 to 60 for the low end, and Hyperversal or 26 dimensional for the high end, with a measurable speed, with his notable hacks being space-time manipulation, time manipulation, reality warping, existence erasure, duplication, and black hole creation. Now that I've went over both characters' stats, it should be pretty obvious who's gonna win. And that winner is Goku, just due to the fact that he outscales Alien X so much in terms of attack potency and speed, to the point where Alien X's hacks won't have any effect on Goku. Anyways, that's pretty much it for the video. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to like, subscribe, ring the bell for more. Peace out and goodbye.